Hey everyone, tomorrow morning I am leaving Guam to go to Japan and I'm staying in Yokohama and this is a new backpack that I just got. This is the Manfrotto Prolite 210. Actually the full name is Manfrotto Prolite Red B 210. And this is in between the 110 and the 310. This was on sale at B&H Photo Video for about $120, uh, regular price. I think is around almost $200 um, but I just want to show you what's in my bag what I'm taking with me to Japan okay let's uh, show some of the features on the outside you have strong sturdy handles here that you can carry the bag at the back and this is all filmed um, on the iPhone 10 because the G9 is inside you can put this on your carry-on luggage right here Another symbol that is shown here is for your tripod, your Manfrotto tripod. Here I believe is where it's saying that your laptop is stored inside your bag. And this is just for, I'm not too sure which one this is for, but this is like decorative here. And there are different ways to access your gear. And I like how Manfrotto puts this little buckle here where people behind you can't really open it, but here is where the G9 is stored. And we have the new Sennheiser uh, G4. And I'll show you how this looks like inside the bag. And the other side, is just the um, the audio, the uh, the transmitter for me when I talk. And the top here is where the main camera that I'll be using in Japan. I know a lot of people will think I'm pretty crazy. This is actually the um, the raincoat to put over the bag. Uh, there's going to be some light rain in Tokyo, but a lot of people is going to think I'm crazy for taking the. Pentax 645Z with me on this trip. But I want to show you how everything looks like um, inside the bag, so let's zip this up. And uh, two things that I really wanted in a bag when I was looking for a bag, and this actually took me maybe six months because I was getting very picky, but I needed a bag that can open from the rear. So when you're walking, and let me just put this on. I've been using this for about a week, it feels pretty good. So, oh, it's like you're walking in Tokyo here at night. So let's say, let's say you're walking and you don't want anybody behind you trying to take out uh, your gear by unzipping. So the only way to access your gear is from the back here and you have to take out your bag. Which is one of the things. The second thing is I wanted it to look nice inside. Okay, so unzip this and photo. this and at first it may be kind of hard to unzip that's because it's really tight for weatherproofing okay and so you open it up like this like a luggage so here and this is really padded super padded right away this is where your laptop would go 15 inch 1.5 and you're supposed to just Secure like that. This is where memory card would go. I have a 64 gig here. Other memory cards can go here. This is where I'm storing my lightning cable, G9 battery charger, extra batteries, extra batteries for the wireless mic, and an iPhone charger. And at this section, which is uh, separated from here, open this up. 
And I really liked how it was red inside, very easy to see your gear. So a lot of ways that you can configure this, I made it uh, configured where my main camera 645Z can be here. And when we film our YouTube videos on the G9 and 4K, it'll be right here for easy access. So the G9 with our wireless G4 Sennheiser is here, easy to access and pull out. The other side where you can access from here, it's just my, I think this is called the transmitter. Yeah, the transmitter for my mic. And I have the main 645Z here and attached to it is a 55 2.8 very snug and of course lens cloth and for portraits the 150 2.8 lens very snug here but of course you can configure this um, any way you like I also have the 45 1.2 uh, when Garfi does portraits with the G9 during our um, breaks with the model in Japan uh, we're gonna put this on so I added um, this pad. I want to make use of all the pads here, so I added it here so it'd be very snug, tight fit. And that's it. That's all I'm taking with me to Japan. Um, some negatives about this bag I noticed is there's not really any additional pockets, like for my passport, I have to stick in here. Um, when you change your SIM card, some business cards are here. And any, uh, this is supposed to be for the iPad, but I'm just using it for storage. Please zip this up. Another negative thing besides the lack of um, pockets is, I guess this is not really like um, a hiking bag or bag to travel long distances because I don't see any um, part where you can put like a water bottle a water bottle to um, attach maybe if you had like a hook then you can hook on something that attaches to the water bottle or any beverage um, holster here but uh, for the most part it does feel really good on my back very padded Underneath is very padded here. So when you set your bag down, if you, even if you have your laptop inside, it'll be cushioned. And this is actually attaches around your waist. And on top here, this attaches all across your chest. So I'm gonna see how this is uh, on my trip to uh, Yokohama. Um, we're gonna be staying there instead of Tokyo. And please uh, follow us on Ground Photography. We're gonna do like a vlog style uh, recording on the trip, shooting two models. First model is Thay, I believe. That's how to pronounce your name on the 14th, April 14th. And April 15th, we have uh, Hima Wari, which uh, uh, appeared on Guam Photography uh, before. Um, but subscribe if you wanna see um, those videos.